or to attend all the men's activities, including singing songs to girls, which means dating. This kind of hairstyle is reputed to be the oldest male hairstyle in China. Doesn't it remind you of the terracotta soldiers? Those soldiers lived two thousand years ago, thousand miles away. Today, anyone who's gone to work in the outside world will have to adopt the same hairstyle once he returns. The Biaosha people believe they are descendants of a landing party dispatched by King Shiyou as part of the Miao people's thousand-year-long migration from central to southwest China. Today, they are the only civilians in China who are officially allowed to carry a gun, and these are no ordinary guns. They are powder guns, muskets that you would expect to see in museums. Each boy gets his gun from his father. He uses a tamp to load the gun with powder and metal filings. It's obsolete as a weapon and has a limited capacity compared with modern equipment. Today, it's much more of a decorative object, and the Biaosha men still carry the guns with great pride. Lunchbox, tiny metal stand, stick for the gun, gunpowder, a huge knife. These are the things Biaosha men take with them wherever they go. But most importantly is this powder gun. It's like their trademark. When the gun is not loaded, they put some flour in here. There are two important people in in Biaosha village. One is the king of the Miao, and the other is this one, Mr.、Uh, Gun Yuanliang. He's the chief of the musketeers. Um, so you, 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 用枪，但是也要有的时候我都把这个枪我都睡成这个这个样子，把它安全。嗯。不是客人到我们这里，不是刚好不，不、嗯、不要乱来，这样子。嗯。嗯咱们那个使枪是这个很长的时间的那个历史了，祖上有什么规矩没有啊？啊，这个枪啊是，原来是我的父亲，我的爸爸他们留下来给我的。嗯。哎，都是。我们这个枪，我们那个湖南敌人，哪里敌人，我们自己要来玩的，这样子。嗯。您、嗯、这个枪现在还有人做吗？这样的枪？现在这个没有人做了，没有人做了。没有人做了。嗯。While the men are all marksmen in Biaosha, the women are skilled weavers and embroiderers. They spin, weave, and make their own clothes, which are not for sale in any market. The thread is spun from cotton, and the girls string them on to the loom to weave clothes. They use their own comb to comb the thread. The resulting cloth is softened and dyed over and over again. At one point, the women spread raw egg whites over the cloth and then let it dry. When the whole procedure is complete, the cloth come out shiny. See, it's even waterproof. Biaosha is just seven kilometers from the Chongjiang County Center and right beside the road. For the past few decades, it's been really close to modern society and the outside world. Yet the villagers still insist on their old traditions. Only we don't know for how long. Villages around here all have similar welcoming ceremony. They block the road and make you drink the wine. But here in Yuntan Village, <laughs> carry you into the village. Village 
is about half an hour's drive through the mountains from the Tongjiang County Center. It's a beautiful village populated by the Dong people. There's a legend about the Yintan village. Once upon a time, a poor boy fell in love with a girl from a rich family, but her family disapproved of their relationship. The girl took an urn of silver and escaped with the boy deep into the mountains. They settled down here, and the village was named Urn of Silver, or Yintan. Today, to welcome tourists, the locals put on a performance worshiping the ancestors in the drum tower. After bowing to the drum tower three times, we walk in a line into the building and leave our burning incense in a small bowl. The timber construction is purely Dong architecture and the center of the community. Usually, one village has at least one drum tower. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's kind of half playing and half serious. Probably in the ancient time, it's much more serious than this. Dance seems to be such an integral part of these people's lives. We were seeing dances in Kongshan, Biasha, and now in Yintan again. They put up a dance to entertain the guests. It's all similar yet different. The movements and gestures in the Yintan dance remind me of their back-breaking work in the fields. Traditions are not the only things in danger of dying out here. A rare species of tree, the yu tree, that's on the verge of extinction, lives here. One particular yu tree in Yintan has a special place in people's lives. play this game and make these moves. People climb up the tree and drape a rope over the branches to make a swing. It's all part of the universal dating process. Boys and girls swing together on the rope and check each other out. I imagine the boy always play the part of protecting the girl, but the truth is, the girls are just as brave.
she said she's not afraid at all, and the first time she was on this swim is when she was sick. And guess what? It was it was her mom brought her over here. Oh my God! This is really a, a brave people. <laughs> In courtship, swinging gives way to a more civilized approach. The ancient Yu Tree is also the village's open-air concert hall. Sitting in a group at the foot of the Yu Tree, young people sing the old songs in a relaxed manner. The Dong people sing with a very romantic, gentle touch. So it's a big shift from the wild abandon they just displayed on the swing. Yintan is the last village of our trip. There are many more ancient stories and special customs yet to be discovered in these mountains and wooden homes. These have been the most obvious and striking. Take the chance to explore the lives of these people by coming here and visiting the communities yourself. Come to southeastern Guizhou. It's a journey into a wonderland. You've got a different way to see the world and a different sense of freedom. Welcome to travel again. We take you to more wonderlands around China. I'm returning.